Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today I'm going to show you how to join in the round where you do not have these big unsightly holes and also how to keep it going nice and straight up and down instead of wandering off on an angle. So I'll be fixing both those problems in this quick little tutorial. So this is how you fix all of those problems. I'm going to do my last double crochet right before my join. And this works for any stitch you're doing, just follow your pattern. Do your last stitch before the join and then slip stitch to join it up. So we're ready to start our new round. So I'm just going to put a little stitch marker in that double crochet because that's going to remind me that I just did a double crochet at the end of the last round. So to start my new round, chain one, and that doesn't count as anything, that just counts as a little filler, that is going to get rid of that gap where you join. So I made my double crochet at the end of the last round, so for this round I'm going to do it in the beginning. So I'm going to make my first double crochet in the beginning of this round right there, right where I did my chain one. So I'm going to go straight in and do my double crochet. So I'm going to put a stitch marker on that double crochet, just on that little side loop, just to mark so I remember that I already have done my double crochet for this round. So now I'm going to keep going and I'll meet you when we get back to where we joined. Take out that stitch marker from down below and we've already done our double crochet after our join. So there's one stitch left. And remember, we're not counting this little blip right before our chain. That's part of our join. That whole area is part of our join. So last double crochet. And I'll slip stitch to join. Chain one to start our new round. And now I did one right after our chain one. So now I'm going to skip that area. I'm not going to do anything. And I'm going to go make my first double crochet way over here in the, in the first real double crochet after the join. So nothing at, this, nothing at our join. I'm going to ignore that whole area and we'll put one in right when we get to the end of this round. So jump over, one double crochet, nothing at where we joined. And remember that, that chain one doesn't count as anything, that just counts as a little bit of filler. And now keep going all the way around and I'll meet you when we get to the end of this round. So back towards the join, we have one more double crochet to make regular and then we have that join to, to deal with. And we have not made any double crochets there. We can take out this stitch marker from way down below because we know what we need to do now. We need to put a double crochet into our join. So our chain one plus a double crochet. So double crochet into the next stitch, double crochet into our chain one join area and then we'll slip stitch. And you can already see how nice and tight that join is and that it's going up. It's not going far along, skipping a stitch every time. It's staying nice and straight and there is none of those unsightly holes because that chain one really takes care of it. So I hope that helps you keep your crochet nice and straight without gaping holes where you join in the round. And if you have any tips or tricks, love to hear about yours in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, go ahead and subscribe now. Love to have you join our community. Also to have a live chat every Friday, 5 p.m. in Nairobi. If you just Google what time that is, it's also in the description box down below with lots of major cities around the world so you can see when the live chat is where you are. So I hope you can use this in your upcoming projects. Keep a nice, clean, hidden join for your work and we'll see you in the next video. Stay hooked. I still love this little capelet. It was my first one. Who knew better? Yep. Bad joining right there. Well, that's all in the past.